All right, so let's just go ahead and get started with this. If I scaffold out a new index file, and I'll put some text here and just show you that it's hosted over here on the right. What we want to do is I'm going to put a script tag so that we can write some JavaScript, and that will be used for like hiding and showing the modal dynamically. And then we also want a style tag so we can like you know add styles to the modal in the page. So the first thing I'm going to do is let's just try to create a basic modal that's always displayed and have it overlay on the page. So if I go here and I type in a div with a class of, let's see, class um, of modal. And inside my style sheet, I could just do modal and give that a, I don't know, I'll give it a width of 100 pixels and a height of 100 pixels just to kind of demonstrate this. And probably a background color of green, okay? So what I'm trying to show you is I'm gonna have a div that is basically gonna be overlaid on top of the page at all times. So to achieve that, if you want to make it so it's like over your actual like text body, in fact, let me just kind of demonstrate that. If I put a bunch of paragraph tags and just type in a bunch of random text here, make this extra long and save this. Notice that we have a bunch of paragraphs and our modal is kind of stuck up here because the, the position is block. Div by default has a position of block. Or I think a display a block. So what I actually want to do is I want to say position fixed and then I want to set it up to the top left zero zero and that should bring that green square to the top left and now we also have the issue with you can't see through the green square because it's a solid color. So it would be nice to make this modal transparent. So if I did red green blue alpha and passed it black and gave it a transparency of 70% that will give us, you know, a little modal overlay. Maybe it's a little bit too dark. Um, <clears throat> so we're on the right path, but the only issue now is this modal is, you know, 100 by 100 pixels, and we want it to be the full width and height of our screen. So if I do 100 by 100, we now have a modal that should be overlaid on top of our page. We can make this darker if you want to, or add some colors by just changing these values. But that's basically step one. Now, obviously, if you have a modal, you want to have stuff inside of it, right? So it would be make sense to have like another class. I'll make it inner. And I could just give it some text, like hello world. And what we could do is target that inner uh, div that's inside of our modal. And I could just give it a background color of like white. I could give it a width of 200 pixels and a height of 200 pixels and go ahead and save this. All right, so now we have this like inner section that we can actually put text. I think it would make sense to have some padding, right? Padding will make it look a little bit nicer. So the issue though is that it's kind of stuck to the top left. And one way to get this to be centered is you could do margin auto on it and that should center the modal in the center of your actual like screen. Or you could do um, a flex box, I believe. So I could say, I think the modal would have to be display flex. Let's try doing that actually. So display flex. And then I think you could do like align items center. And that will center it on the page. And now we can also do align content center, and that should bring that to the center of the page. Let's see, flex box align center uh, X. I always forget what this one is. Justify content, that's what it is. So justify content, I didn't really, this is kind of like a live coding, I didn't prepare for this, but. Okay, so now we have a, a modal with an inner that shows some, you know, some white text. And what I like to do with modals is you could do um, a little bit of rounded corners here. So I could say border radius is 10 pixels. And that'll just give it a nice little like round edge. You could also, if you wanted to, um, you can make these dynamic, obviously, like if your page size gets, if your page is larger or whatever, you can use media queries, or you can make these dynamic. So I could say like 70% and 50%, hopefully that works. Yeah, so as the page gets larger, your modal will grow in size. 
that's up to you. Whatever you want to do with your modal, the world's your oyster. Have fun changing it up. But what I wanted to do is sometimes a modal can kind of not be apparent that it's popped up. So what you could do is give it a box shadow. So starting off, I could say like, I'll just give it like a, a gray color. All right, so sometimes you got to play with the box shadow. So that's a little bit too bright. And the values for the box shadow, I believe it's like X offset, Y offset, and then blend. So typically it's, it's nice to keep these two consistent. So if you keep the first two values consistent and you can make your blend like smaller to make it more prominent. Let's see if I could zoom in. Right, so if I make it white, it might be easier to tell. So if I make the blend like 20, notice that it really blends that box shadow and it doesn't look like it's as defined. And if I make it 10, it's a little bit less. Five is a little bit less. And in fact, this is the offset is kind of big as well. So you can just play around, see what looks good. There's like a, you could look at like bootstrap or whatever and see what they use for their defaults. But I think that's pretty much pretty good. Um, and now the last step is we want to dynamically hide and show this modal, right? So if there's a button on the page and I'll call it like about ID of show modal. What we could do is basically hide and show this modal if the user clicks on the show modal uh, div. So I'm going to go ahead and say display is hidden. Actually, it might be none. I think it's none. Sometimes I got to remind myself what these things are. So if you do display none, the modal will not display when the page loads by default. And I could say hide or show modal. All right, so I got a button that says show modal. And what we want to achieve is in our JavaScript that we haven't defined yet, we could just add an event listener. So I could say document.query selector, grab me that show modal. And I could say on, um, yeah, on click, do some type of callback. And what we want to do is go ahead and target the modal. So I could say modal, and then I could say, uh, class list dot add hide. Okay, so this is basically when I click on the button, it's gonna add a hide class to our modal. But right now, obviously, if I click on the modal, it doesn't do anything. Let's see. Document.query selector on is not a function. I'm sorry, add event listener. <laughs> I think on's like a jQuery thing you could do. So anyway, when I click on the modal, I basically want to hide it. So I could add another style called modal.hide, and that could be display none. And by default, I could just not put display none there. So I'm pretty much making the, hiding the modal a class that you can toggle on and off on the modal. So when the page loads by default, we want to just give it the class hide. And then what we want to do is instead of adding it to the class list, we could remove it here. So I was implementing it one way. I kind of changed the implementation to something else. Uh, and then I went back. So the last part is typically in the modal, there's a button or a way to close the modal, right? So inside the modal, we could have another button called close modal. And I could give an ID of close modal. And down here, if I refresh that, we could see that it should show up here, close. We want to do the same thing. We want to um, do a query selector and we want to get the close modal. I think it was a class or is it a button? I don't remember. It was a button. It was an ID. So get the ID of close button. And when you click it via a, an event listener, you want to add the class high to the modal. So it's basically doing the opposite of what this is doing. And now when we do this, we could just hide and show modals. And that is basically it. I mean, you could do a little bit of code cleanup here and I could say show modal button is equal to this. And this should make it a little bit cleaner, maybe. I don't know. You can decide, you can tell me. Hide modal button, close modal. So instead of doing like this stuff, I could do all this. 
And since we use the modal on both pages, we could just do a query selector for modal here. So get me the modal. And instead of having to do a query selector here and here again, we could just do this. So this should achieve the exact same results, but it's a little bit cleaner because we pulled out some code that was shared amongst repetitive function calls. And if I, let me give you some more real estate so you can see my code, let me zoom out one. So now you can see we basically get the show modal button added event listener to pretty much high, add in high class if you click it. And, or sorry, remove a high class if you click the show modal button and then the close modal button adds a hide class if you click it. So that is the gist of how you can make a modal. And again, it is kind of responsive because I did percentages for the width and the height. So as you scale the page, the modal increases. And you could do a lot of stuff, like you can add an event listener to the page. So when the user clicks on it, that's a gray area, the modal closes as well. But I just wanted to give you a really quick basic tutorial about how to do a modal with vanilla JS. And I hope this was a useful tutorial. So be sure to subscribe and like if you like this video and feel free to leave me suggestions on other simple JavaScript, HTML, CSS tutorials you'd like to see. Again, this is a Web Dev Junkie video. My name is Cody Seibert and have a good day.